Hello, hello, this is Donna Denson, the Dynamic Diabetic, coming to you today with the Diabetic Minute for everyone who wants to get and stay healthy. Uh, today I'm talking about obesity and diabetes, and I'm not saying anybody out there is obese, okay? Don't get your feelings hurt. <laughs> but there is a direct correlation between people who are overweight and diabetes, okay? So I was reading some information, and again, when I find new knowledge, I like to share it. And they were talking about the fact that we don't treat obesity, we treat diabetes. And even then, we treat the symptoms and not the causes. But what if we treated obesity and people didn't develop type 2 diabetes? Because that's where that leads to. It appears that there are about 15 times more anti-diabetic medicine being offered than anti-obesity obesity medicine out there. So we're missing the opportunity to try and control one health risk that could lead to another major health risk, right? And since we know that obesity can lead to um, developing type 2 diabetes, we need to kind of pay attention to that. Um, there are currently six anti-obesity medications approved by the FDA. Only 2% of the eligible, and here's the thing, eligible 46% of adults that are eligible Okay, so 46% of us are clinically obese. I don't necessarily agree with that, but anyway, that's what the schedule says. Okay, 46% of us are have tipped the scale. And only 2% of those are getting any treatment or any help. They're kind of leaving it up to us to say, hey, you're overweight, you need to lose weight. And so what we're not recognizing is that obesity is a serious disease and it is not being treated seriously. So we need to change that. We need to start treating obesity just like any other chronic disease. And I know people have in their mind that if someone's obese, that means they're just, you know, lazy, sitting around eating all the time, that kind of thing. That image is in our mind. It's been placed in our mind. But the fact is, it's not real. Yes, there are some people that will qualify like that, but there's a lot of people who, who don't, who have other issues contributing to obesity, and we need to give proper attention to it. The tie between obesity and, and diabetes, even once we have diabetes, the, one of the first things your doctor will tell you is you should lose some weight. Well, what if we had lost weight first? <laughs> Maybe we wouldn't have diabetes, right? So I think we need to be paying more attention there. And that is exactly what this study that was done showed that by not treating it, we were actually increasing the cases of type 2 diabetes. There might be some reasons for that. Some um, insurances don't reimburse for that. We need to change the way they think, don't we? Um, and doctors have limited visit time. You know, you always feel like you got to rush through because they're, they're moving on, right? They've allotted 10 minutes. And also lack of training for obesity counseling. There isn't any of that going on. And it's time to change that. It is time to change what we're doing and maybe start preventing type 2 diabetes. Maybe that should be a focus. What do you think? If, you, if you're a diabetic, I bet you would agree. You wish that someone had maybe helped with one thing before it led to that, right? Um, and if you're not diabetic, if you're one of those pre-diabetics out there, you could use that help maybe. So I think it's time for us to refocus and to say it's obesity is a disease just like any other disease, and we need to treat it. And if we treat that, we will have far less, far fewer 
type 2 diabetics out there. This was kind of just an information day. <laughs> I hope that you appreciate having that information, changing your thinking, because if we change our thinking, we can change what's happening. Okay, so that's your power today. That's your knowledge is power. And the power is that we need to start talking. The conversation needs to happen about we should be doing this. Mention it to your doctor every time you go. Mention it. All right. <laughs> I hope I found you safe today. I hope I found you well. And you know, I always found, hope I find you happy. This is Donna Denson, the Dynamic Diabetic. May God bless and keep you until we connect again. Have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.